just like look at this model again you remember we created almost 19 spaces we provided thermal zones we provided space type information we created some shading devices uh, the window shading devices some adjacent buildings and uh, at the end we provided a one uh, daylighting control to one of my space all right so i'm going to save this model again and i'm going to open it in my in my open studio main interface all right so this is how my open studio main interface looks like go to file go to open and i have saved my file on desktop so i'm just going to look for this file this is the one which i'm looking for double click on it it says the document has been modified do you want to save your changes let's say discard it don't worry about this and this is my model here so only information that will uh, load in your new model will be schedule sets construction sets definitions the internal load definitions and space types all right uh, all the other information will be ignored com completely okay uh, open model and the first thing we need to do is provide some kind of value file if you remember we implemented all the open studio resources for san francisco 3c climate zone so i'm going to bring a weather file for san francisco I click on this set weather file option and all my weather files they live in uh, energy plus uh, 8.9 installation i use energy plus 8.9 uh, for my energy plus simulations in case you're wondering do, if you need to install uh, energy plus as well if you are, need to use just open studio well, there is no need. When you install uh, Open Studio, it already imp uh, already uh, actually it to uh, bring all the Energy Plus related installations as well for you. Okay, so don't worry don't worry about installing Energy Plus one more time. So for Open Studio or Energy Plus, you need EPW weather file. If you look at my first video from uh, uh, previous uh, series. You will understand from where you need to download these weather files and ddy design day files okay so i'm going to click on this uh, epw file twice okay i have this weather file for san francisco and then for design day file i'm going to click on this import from ddy again and then same uh, folder where my epw file was saved i'm going to um, bring this san francisco design day file double click on okay so you can see i have all those design day information uh everything is there uh so a lot of people they always get confused why you need to bring design day file as well in open studio or energy plus okay so in case you need to auto size your hvac information or hvac systems you have to bring design day file in energy plus all right if you hard size your um, uh, components HVAC related components you need not to worry about design day file but for example you are trying to run a simulation for Azure baseline model you have to bring design day file uh, you don't want to uh, hard size your Azure baseline model you want to auto size everything so for that uh, open studio and NH plus they want these design day files okay so I have all the information for space types I have geometry uh, I have weather file now and if you remember I actually installed an ideal a load system for my HVAC information all right so we are good to run the simulation when we run the simulation we will be able to get the information for internal loads the space loads uh, something what you do on trace trace actually does all the uh, load calculations for you even open studio can do it for you you just need to provide some ideal a load systems internal loads envelope and that's it okay run the simulation so what i'm going to do is i'm going to uh, click on this uh, run simulation tab which is second last one from this uh, workflow click on it and very simple thing just click on this uh, play button okay click on it and it will take maybe like five or ten seconds to run the simulation Okay, so meanwhile, um, I can um, explain you one couple of things. When you run the simulation here, you will see exactly the same information when you see what you see when you run the simulation on Energy Plus interface. Okay, exactly same in, uh, information. So what is happening here? 
basically open studio interface is calling all the uh, components from energy plus installation and then that is running simulation for you okay it's like you know doing all the calculations for you using energy plus uh, simulation engine okay so it will take um, maybe 10 more seconds to finish the simulation and then we can go through the um, the summary the report summary okay so you can see it's completed i'm going to click on the next tab which is this um, result summary and you can see exactly same report what you see for energy plus uh, simulations it has site and source energy information it has building area it has end use energy consumption uh, as you can see uh, we installed um, ideal air loads so there's no um, heating and cooling information in these first two tabs but they come up as district cooling and district heating so basically uh, when you install an ideal air load it is considered as district cooling and district heating with infinite capacity always available and 100 percent efficient that's what uh, our district cooling and heating is on your site okay so again this information is quite good to do all the um, sizing for your hvac systems okay so let's save this model here